Nick's family is shown at the start of the film series there is going on the birthday event of Nick's mother. Because Nick had replaced the gift of his mother. And he had not shared about this plane to, Pia. Then Pia, thinks that it will be the plan of Nick's wife, Sophie. And Sophie, has committed it deliberately. So Pia, begins to show her anger on Sophie. Nick, infuriates, Pia, seeing it. And he asks her to leave the house. So, Pia, feels irritation about this. After this, she moves to the club and takes alcohol too much. After it, Pia, talks with a boy on an app. That boy has revealed his fake name. While his real name is different. They are still talking with each other then Pia's mobile is dropped into the toilet. Now, Pia, thinks to repair her mobile. She puts her cell phone in a box and closes it. The next day, Pia, is working in the hospital. Then Pia's friend shows her a video. When Pia watches that video, then it does not belong to anyone but to her brother, Nick. He has caught a signboard. He has stated on it, I have abused a girl. I will commit suicide if this video crosses 5 million. First of all, Pia, was taking it as fun. Then, Pia, comes to know from others while asking. That her brother name, Nick, is missing. So, Nick, tells the wife nicknamed, Sophie, about this video. So they both move to the police officers. Going there, Pia, meets a detective. And he is the same boy with whom, Pia, had talked through an app. Who has given his fake name. Now that detective interrogates from both about, Nick. And he consoles them, we will soon discover, Nick. Then, Pia, says to that detective to delete that video. At first sight, this news is spread throughout the city. The views were also increasing on TV with it. Afterward, Pia's cell phone is also begun to work. When she checks her mobile then she comes to know that, her brother, Nick, had sent her a voice message last night. Nick, tells her that something was continuing in my mind. And I also wanted to share about with all of you. Now, Pia, had also noticed that, Nick, has been behaving strangely for many days. And he was also worried about something. Whereas, Pia, had tried her best to talk with, but, Nick, had revealed nothing. After this, a new video of, Nick, also appears. At this time, there was written on the signboard that I have killed one of the girls. But, Pia observes this handwriting does not match, Nick's writing. It was clear that, Nick, had been kidnapped. And someone was manipulating, Nick. But those detectives were suspecting, Nick. Then, Pia, is provoked by this and begins to infuriate. After this, Pia, tells about that voice message to, Sophie. And she says that we should inform them about it at the police station. But, Sophie, forbids her while saying, police is already suspecting, Nick. And they may be caught in trouble by this voice message. Now, police were doing nothing to detect, Nick. So they had to do what was needed to do. So, Pia, moves to her friend to ask for help from her. Who is a computer expert. Because he had a lot of knowledge of computer. Pia's friend makes a software, he was trying to search for, Nick, with the help of people. Pia's friend reveals to her that we have known after checking both videos. That both videos have been made in the delivery van. At the same time, Nick's friend approaches there. Pia, checks that views are increasing very quickly. And the video crosses the 5 million views. Meanwhile, the detective tells, Pia, that we have found the van. Now they check that van while going there. Because, Nick, is not there. Now, Nick, was missing from there. And there was no knowledge about him so the sergeant says to them. Now we will tackle this case like a murder case. Then that detective says to an agent, let me work on this case matter. But that agent directly refuses this. After this, they go to check the room of, Nick. Where that detective gets the iPad of, Nick. Using it, Nick's son was trying to track him through an app. The area in which they track, Nick. They mark that area through which they come to know. Which area is suited to track, Nick, and which area is unsuitable. After this, the detective tells, Pia, I am not handling this case but that agent. He says to, Pia, I want to help you but I cannot. Now that detective tells here to sergeant, that I have got some messages from the cell phone of Nick's son. It has been clear that there was going on some disturbance between, Nick, and, Sophie. And there was a dispute between them on any matter. Sergeant tells the detective that Nick's family has requested. That you should be included in this case, so you can also work in this matter. The next day, Pia, receives the message of that detective, because she wanted to show him something. And she also reveals to that detective about that voice message. When that detective asks, Sophie, about it. She tells that there was not clash between me and, and who knows that he was discussing this in his voice message. Then that detective asks, Pia, about it. Then, Pia, tells him that it was the minor dispute of siblings. Also tells him that, 
Nick, had visited the hospital exactly after a day of birthday. Because he was injured and someone had beaten him. When that detective checks that date then he comes to know that, Nick, had visited a bar that night. After it, the detective checks the CCTV recorded video, going there. Detective knows through it that, Nick, had disputed with man in the bar at that night. That man had beaten him. After it, that detective also shows this footage to, Pia. The detective tells her here, this man may be suspected. Who knows, that man may have abducted, Nick. Afterwards, the detective tells agent, if we overlook the area of traffic. After this, these people move there and start checking that place. Where they discover the body of, Nick, but he was no more. Then detective reveals to, Pia about the death of her brother. Now they wanted to detect the murderer of, Nick. Later, detective checks the private account of, Sophie. Where they find the photo of a man with, Sophie. Who was her friend and this man was not anyone else, but he was that person who had hit, Nick, in the bar. So detective and that agent ask, Sophie, about it. Sophie, tells here that he is my friend. He was a teacher in my school as a colleague with me. And I have met him for six months. Then, Sophie, tells her mother about it that police suspect that my friend is behind this crime. It is his fault if he has committed it. Later, Sophie, sends a message to her friend. That I want to meet you then, Sophie, goes to meet her friend. Sophie's friend reveals here that I had been called to meet by, Nick. And he tells a lie here that I have been beaten by, then police reach there and leave after arresting both of them. After this, detective and agent begin to interrogate, Sophie. Then, Sophie, tells her, we were not only friends but also beloveds. Later, I had told, Nick, about this relationship. I had also broken up with my friend. But my friend was damn serious about this relationship. So he was aggressive after the breakup. Detective and agent tell, Sophie, hear that we have checked your friend's computer data. He was tracking, Nick. If we get the evidence against your friend, then your relationship will have to be exposed before the public. Sophie, did not want that her family and kids may know about her relationship. It is revealed on a coming day that Sophie's friend has been arrested in this case. Now, Sophie, forbids her children to watch this news. Pia, begins to doubt, Sophia, on this action. So, Pia, investigates, Sophie, about this, what is going on between both of you. Sophie, says on it, it was just my mistake. And I had shared it with, Nick, and we both were trying that, this matter may be resolved. Meantime, Nick's son hears the conversation of, Sophie, and, Pia. He leaves the house in anger. After it, Sophie, goes in search of his son. Then, Sophie, notices that a lady is chasing her for a long time. Then, Sophie, catches her, that lady says, my name is, Emma, and I was in relationship with your husband. And we had met through an app and your husband had revealed his fake identity. At the same time, Sophie, receives the call of, Pia, and she says to her, your son is with me. After this, Sophie, also comes to the house of, Pia, Sophie, that I had encountered a lady. And her relationship was with, Nick, and he had introduced him to an app. Where, Nick, had revealed his fake identity. Pia, checks the fake name profile of, Nick. But that profile was not active. But, Pia, restores that account with the help of her friend. Now, Pia, tells, Sophia, that lady, Emma, was speaking the truth. There was going on the relationship of, Nick, and, Emma, in reality. After this, the time of six weeks ago. Is shown. Where, Emma, knows that a man with whom she was introduced on an app. Who had revealed his fake identity. He is no more. And the person with whom she had been in a relationship for a long time, his real name was, Nick. He is married, having two kids. But, Emma, wanted to help Nick's family here. So she meets, Sophie, arriving in this city. And she rentals the whole fact to her. After this, Emma, meets that detective where she also tells him, that I introduced with, Nick, on an app and we had affections for each other. After this, Emma, go to the sports center where she meets, Nick's friend. And they talk a little bit about, Nick, later, Nick his friend moves away. After it, Pia, goes to Nick's friend. And she asks her, had you already knowledgeable about the relationship of, Nick? Where Nick's friend tells, Pia, a lady named, Emma, had come to meet me recently. I and your brother were fallen in love with each other. And your brother was not satisfied with his married life and he had also said to me, when his son's high school study will be over then I will divorce. I was just helping him with his issue. Emma, receives a call of an unknown person. And that person immediately asks, Emma, to leave this city. Emma, also calls the police but she had scared, so she escapes leaving the hotel.
At the same time, a car chases her, and, Emma, faces the accident. Afterward Emma, is brought to the hospital where she reveals the whole story to the detective. Meanwhile, Pia, also arrives there. Then the detective tells, Pia. Emma, is not the only girl who was in a relationship with your brother. There are rather two more girls like her. It is told to, Emma, that you were not only one but there were two more girls. Who was in a relationship with my brother. And, Nick, used to meet different girls through that app. Oneth Sergeant Girl's names was, Mandy. Then, Emma, goes to meet her after getting details about her. Being dejected, Emma, tells her friend, Nick, had promised me the same which had been promised with, Mandy. So, Emma, decides to expose, Nick, before everyone. So, Emma, contacts a reporter. Then that reporter interviews, Emma. Emma, tells him, Nick, traps the different girls on an app. After this, that reporter shows this interview to his senior reporters. The reporter says we knew that, Nick, used to entrap the girls. And we have to detect it either, Nick, kill any of those girls. So that report asks the other reporter to interview, Sophie. Then that reporter talks with Sophie's friend about, Sophie. But they forbid them to do so. Now that reporter enters Sophie's house, disguising a delivery man. But he is caught. That reporter tells, Sophie, here, that, Emma, has revealed the whole truth to the report detectiving aggressive, Emma, goes to the senior reporter, accompanying her lawyer. Sophie, says to that reporter, stop taking the interview of, Emma. That reporter says we cannot do as such. And she says to, Sophie, if you interview us, then we will not play the interview of, Emma. Sophie, agrees on this. Later, another reporter tells his friend, we have known the two profiles of, Nick, till now. He will have many more. After this, the reporter checks an article on the website of Nick's college. Then that reporter checks that a student has commented there. Where she had written, no matter how you appreciate, Nick, but you don't know about him till now. That reporter goes to that, Nick's friend to know about it. And he collects information from her about it. Then that girl tells that reporter. I had witnessed my friend named, Tara, and, Nick. Exactly after this, Tara, had left the team. Later, that reporter goes to, Tara. But, Tara, does not reveal a single fact to him. Then that reporter's friend tells, one more Nick's profile has been got. They get information about a girl when they check that account. Where that girl had also written her fake identity. After this, they reach a bookshop, witnessing that photo. Where that reporter comes to know that, that girl's real name was, Sarah. And that girl committed suicide before four months. When that reporter checks about, Sarah, then he comes to know that. Sarah, has also a brother named, Simon. After this, that reporter moves to the house of, Simon. And he begins to examine her house and gets the cell phone of, Sarah. At the same time, Sarah's brother, Simon, appears on it. When that reporter checks Sarah's mobile, then he gets the messages of, Sarah, and, Nick. Sarah, was upset because of the breakup of, Nick. So she committed suicide. Then that reporter shows these messages to his senior reporter. And he says that I will interview, Sophie. After this, that reporter interviews, Sophie. Where he tells, Sophie, there was also another girl named, Sarah. He was in a relationship with, Nick. She has committed suicide for four months. The reporter shows the messages of both of them to, Sophie, does not understand anything here, what should she do here? After this, Sophie, returns to the house. Where she does not want that her family may watch her interview. But her family is watching her interview and they know it, but, Sarah, had committed suicide because of breaking up. And it was, Nick, who had asked, Sarah, to do as such. Then the scene before six months is shown. Where, Simon, receives a call from his sister, Sarah, who was worried. She is weeping. When, Simon, returns to his home then he finds, Sarah, died there. When, Simon, checks the mobile of, Sarah, then he comes to know that, he has done it for his app friend. Because, Sarah, had told to her brother, that there is my friend on the app. And, Simon, had also forbidden her. Keep away from everyone. When, Simon, checks about that app friend, then he knows that his real name is, Nick. So, Simon, abducts, Nick, with the help of his friend. After this, Simon's friend comes to him. And he tells him, the police have detected everything. How did it happen? Simon, tells him, a reporter had intruded my house, and he stole Sarah's cell phone. Then a detective begins to investigate, Simon, coming there. Then, Simon, says, I know nothing about, Sarah, and, Nick. I never met, Nick, when everything was happening, then I had gone along with my friend fishing. After this, when he checks Simon's profile. Meanwhile, 
Pia's call is received by that detective. Then the detective tells him that I have come here to meet, Simon. After this, Pia, goes to meet the detective. Where detective tells her, I think that, Simon, is hiding something from me. On the other side, Simon, and his fiend had known, that police reach there at any time. So they plan to escape. The next day, when, Simon, tries to escape the detective catches him. On the other side, Pia, witnesses the escaping Simon's friend and punches him. After this, the detective starts to investigate, Simon. Detective says to him, there is no need to hide. Your friend has revealed all the facts. Simon, tells him, I want to talk to, Nick's sister, Pia. Later, she talks with, Simon. Simon, tells her, I caught your brother, considering him sinful. But I did not kill him. Then it is seen that, Simon, makes Nick's video after abducting him. And he made it viral on social media. Then, Simon, says to, Nick, that my sister meets her end because of you. Nick, says on it, I did nothing. I don't know about your sister. Nick, says that someone has tried to entrap me, using my photos. These are not my real photos but someone has edited my photos. Hearing it, Simon, is confused. When their video crosses 5 million views. Then Simon's friend says to him, kill, Nick. Then, Nick, tries to escape from there. But, Simon, catches him. Nick, again says to him, I did nothing. I give my words to you that who has killed your sister, I will search for him and gives him in the custody of the police. Hearing it, Simon, starts to trust in him. So he releases him. Now, Pia, believes in the story of, Simon. But the detective was thinking that, Simon, is telling a lie to keep himself secure. Afterward, Pia, tells her family that I have talked with, Simon. And he states that he has not killed, Nick. Pia, says, I think as he is speaking the truth. Later, it is seen that Nick's elder son is talking with a girl. Where he says to a girl, how will I know that you are a girl? So that girl sends her photo to him. After this, Nick's son watches the video of, Mandy. Mandy, was the same girl who was in a relationship with, Nick. Where the reporters were asking, Mandy, about, Nick. After this, Nick's son contacts, Mandy. Next, next, Nick's son receives Mandy's mail with the statement, I never met, Nick. I know nothing about him. Then it is told, Pia, by Nick's son. Then they both move to detective. Where, Pia, knows about it that they are going to close this case. Pia, says to Nick's son, because the case is going to close. We have to do as such as they may start the case investigation again. After this, Pia, moves to her friend computer expert. Pia's friend tells her that I have heard something about, Nick. That, Nick, was in a relationship with one of his students named, Tara. After this, Nick's son sends a message to his friend. That I want to meet you. That girl rejects at the beginning, after that, she sends her location to him. Later, Nick's son goes to his friend to meet her. Nick's son reveals to his friend here that it has been tried to entrap, Nick, and, Sarah. If that catfisher is caught then this fact will be proved. That my father is guiltless. Then that girl says to him. You should talk to, Emma. As you are the son of, Nick, so she will surely talk to you. After this, they talk with, Emma, now, where Emma, tells Nick's son that I used to talk with you father daily. But I never met with your father. That girl says if that catfisher has sent the photos to, Emma. Then I can tell after checking, from where have they been sent. After this, Pia, goes to meet Nick's student. It is known here that Tara's affair was not with, Nick, but with her friend. So, Tara, wanted to leave the team but, Nick, did not want it. So controversy started between them. Tara, tells me that I had also broken up with Nick's friend. Nick's friend uploaded my photos on the internet to take revenge. And, Nick, had also Suge suggested porting his friend. After this, Pia, goes to the support center of, Nick. Where she wanted to check Nick's friend's computer. But it was secured by password. Then the port center manager enters the password in the computer. When, Pia, checks the computer then she gets all the detailed data about, Nick. After this, Pia, tells the detective about it. That I have checked the computer of Nick's friend. And the whole data of, Nick, is there on that computer. Who knows that it has been committed by Nick's friend. On the other side, Emma, sends the photos to Nick's son. Then Nick's son sends a message to his friend. And he asks him to detect from where these photos have been sent. When, Pia, goes to her house. There is already present the friend of, Nick. Pia, tells him that I had met, Tara. She told me that you had leaked her photos. Then Nick's friend says, it was my mistake. But I did not harm, Nick. Pia, says I have checked your computer. Nick's friend gets angry about this. Then, Sophie, says to her kids, we are going to leave this city. 
Sophie's younger son is angered by this. And he goes away then Sophie's elder son tells that I have talked with Emma, and it is the saying of Emma, that he did not meet with father. After it, he shows Emma's video call to his mother, Sophie. And it is also heard by the younger son of Sophie. After this, he checks his brother's computer. The message is received from his brother's friend, in which she had sent the location of the catfisher. When, Sophie, checks the room of his younger son, then he is not there. When Sophie's elder brother checks the computer, he comes to know that, where had his brother gone? On the other side, Sophie's younger brother comes to a house, while tracking the location. His elder brother tries to call him here but he does not attend the call. His elder brother sends him a message to come back from there. That place is dangerous. But his brother does not obey him. And he moves to that house but that house does not belong to anyone but sports center manager. Who resides there along with her husband. Now they both understand it, why has Nick's son come here? So the manager calls Nick's son inside the room. Nick's so understanding here, that he is in danger so he tells a lie that my mother knows that I have come here. But Donnie's husband keeps the gun in his possession to kill Nick's son. After this, the time before two years is shown when, where, Nick, asks, Donnie, to change the password of the computer. At the same time, Nick, receives the message of, Mandy. Donnie, reads it, and she thinks, how good the life of, Nick, is going on. So, Donnie, was committing it to entrap the girls after making the fake IDs on Nick's account. She wanted to know, which feelings come after taking the identity of, Nick. Such a man who is liked by everyone. Once Donnie's husband knows about this reality. But it was too late. After this, Sophie, and, Pia, move to the house of, Donnie. But there is no one at home because they all had left the house. After this, they both move to the house and come to know that. There was, Donnie, behind all scenes or what was happening. Meanwhile, the detective also reaches there. Pia, tells, him that the password of Nick's computer had been given to me by, Donnie. Who knows that the data of, Nick, had been stored in his friend's computer by, Donnie. Then they detect the car location of, Donnie. Meanwhile, Sophie's son tries to contact his mother. But, Donnie, throws the cell phone outside while grabbing it. Then they take Sophie's son to a place. They lock him taking him outside. Donnie, says to her husband. I did not commit it to harm anyone. And I will reveal everything to the police. I should only be punished for this. After this, we will make a new start to our life. Because no one witnessed, Nick, coming to our house. After this, it is seen that, Nick, had come to Donnie's house after escaping from, Simon. And he says to, Donnie, Sarah, committed suicide because of you. And I will reveal the whole fact to the police, going there. At the same time, Donnie's husband kills, Nick. Donnie, and her husband chase him. They fire their gun at him but he remains safe. Later, Donnie's husband captures Nick's son but Donnie, is caught by the police. After this, police also arrest Donnie's husband. Detective says to Donnie's husband, surrender yourself. So Donnie's husband releases Nick's son. Donnie, asks her husband to drop the gun but he does not act as such. So detective fires his gun at him. Due to this, he dies. After this, Pia, leaves, accompanying his family. After this, Sophia gratifies, Pia, and the series completes here.